Hey guys, Tightrope here, bringing you some more Smoking Aces League action. Thanks for today's supporting on the right, we've got Alpern with Soviets. We can nice support guard motor and defensive. Team up with him, the Angry Dutchman, also with Soviets. Combined arms, guard motor, and defensive. Okay. On the left hand side, J3X, I believe this is Jibba, he's just renamed himself here. Maybe like J3, Jibba Jabba, Jobber, yeah. Uh, anyway, Blitzkrieg, Spearhead, and German Mechanized is also an Inca Una with OKW Grand Offensive locked in immediately. So, uh, Angry Dutchman going for a tier 1 start. R up against uh, OKW on his side of the map. So, maybe looking to uh, go for some M3 action. But you know, obviously going to be up against Pins Fusiliers, maybe later on. So might have some anti-tank grenades from Inca to counter that. Hold on to the building. Jumping in and out, just making sure. Oh. So maybe Inca. Might be aware, sees a second combat engineer now. And three about to pop. Still don't have enough munitions for a flamethrower yet. There's a lot of camping behind cover all around in the south. I was trying to damage the stern pies on the way in, but they get into light cover there. Oh, but there's a bit of negative cover somehow. Happens, but I believe it does actually function as negative cover as well. It is unfortunate. Okay, and here comes the M3, and it's a fast retreat there from Inca. Not wanting to get wiped. It does have one fuselier coming out though, so it can protect the retreat path with that anti tank grenade. Go for another one now. Getting a big bundle of wire down everywhere. He's just camped this building the whole time. No healing yet. More penals from the angry Dutchman. And three just firing from long range here. Not ideal. The flamethrower pops for the angry Dutchman. Looks like he's going to try capture the sector first though. M3 is not going to have a lot of impacts. I wonder if he's going to try to bring it over to the other side of the map. The move there from Alpern forces away the machine gun. Might cost him a few models though. Ooh, just surviving. Does he have healing? Okay, he has ticked it since I checked last. The flamer coming in here for Jibber. On to the cutoff. And uh, Alpen getting overwhelmed. He jams the decap for a little bit longer there. Nearly cost him his conscript, but it does survive. Our uh, penals are here. And all this wire is paying off. No heavy cover for the Axis pushing onto this area. Flamer Wars. And three coming in. Probably no cover for these guys from the M3's direction, so this is a pretty good engagement for the Allies. They have lost control of their fuel. The combat engineer is a little bit isolated up in the north there. The Axis going to soft retreat, push out of this area, fall back to their heavy cover positions. It's going to be three penals from the Angry Dutchman. I thought maybe he'd try and stall at this stage, maybe go hard on like guards or something. Dishkas, but it's going to go all the way up to three penals. A couple of S-mines down over here as well. A couple of little patches. Help him, uh, okay, he's got a second combat engineer now. 
So maybe he's going to try to get the sweep upgraded. Yep, exactly. He's going to try to clear off those east mines. Battle group out the back. Healing bunker coming in for Jibber. Wow, look at that timing. Battle phase completed. Very good timing for him to start his construction. Some healing done as well. Wire off on these Soviet sandbags. Okay, Andrew Dutchman going to go for some cheeky attack groundwork. Sinieri grenade in on the penal. Big damage from those penals that did very well there. So tech rounding. Penals holding strong, but yeah, they want some light cover at least. So never really saw some, you know, proper clown car shenanigans from the angry Dutchman. Respecting the threat of the anti-tank grenades, always. There's a cheeky satchel out there, hoping to catch him off guard, but... No luck. G43's pop, but I think the things are healthy enough to still win that fight. Well, Alpha and getting forced away, and uh, maybe Luz can control the cutoff again. He's trying to get a bit of a flank going. He has locked into mechanized support. Ice U is often pretty powerful on this map. Flak half track coming off for Inca, the 222. In fact, it's a double 222 from Jibber. Some guards out from Alpern. That means the M3 is going to have to be very cautious with double 222s and the flak running around. Going to interrupt the sandbag planting there. Guards getting suppressed. We have a flamer coming in on the flank. Talamine down from Jibber as well. And the double 222s now catching the mistress out of position. Well, I find the cover. We have a tough start here for the Allies. Double 222s rolling in now. No tier 3 up yet from Alpern, so uh, that's trouble. Do have it up for the Angry Dutchman, he starts the T-70 now, just got fuel. Sweep up there for Inca. Doesn't spend the time to sweep up the mine though. Oh, cheeky demo on the building from Alpern. Just gonna see that telemine now as well with the sweeper. Oh, this looks like a squad wipe. Oh, he threw a cheeky satchel in there. Oh, but it did four bottles to his own squad. Drops the flamer. Oh, that is disastrous for the angry Dutchman. Really bad. Okay, he's off that teller. Double two 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 is bleeding all right. Forced Alpern to go for an anti tank gun to answer this. Does have the uh, AT gun bull time bulletin, so it did come out quite quickly. Snips away the wire. We are Flak out track. Don't care. Got some great accuracy shots in there. And step in. Aim here for grabs. Going to be a race. The penals versus the stern bios, and the penals get it. Penals out on near cover though. Took a lot of damage there. Now should be pretty effective against the building. G43 starting to light up these Soviet troops as well. Ready to make it out the back. The demo charge went off. Didn't wipe anything though. I'm pretty sure I got my wipe indicators going right. Yes, comrade. Maybe not. I'll double check. 
don't think I don't think Chip has lost anything though. So it's a tough early game for the Allies. Let's see if this T Sirene can do anything to rectify that. Getting rolling out now for Inca. Jumps to the building here. Getting involved as well. So I'm saying the building getting low quite fast though. So setting up some attack round action, missing that shot. Everything very, very low though. Do you see me still healthy? A lot of pressure on Alpin from Jibber. Where's this AT gun? He's trying to sneak it around. He's out of stealth now, but there is a squad here with a bit of an intercept. A quick look at the KDs. Yeah, Alpern really suffering. The Angry Dutchman doing pretty well, but maybe not able to turn that kill count into uh, good territory control in the north, though. Is working his way up there with a penal. T70 doing a good job kind of hiding behind the building away from the Rakesan. He's giving Inca a lot of respect. Did Inca retreat his Rakesan? He did. So the T70 I think should maybe be a little bit more aggressive than this. If he's aware of the retreat at least. This is this still zero damage on any of the 222s. Really bad news for Alpern. Not what you want at all. He misses that shot. Pops the button though. Oh, and he gets the kill. Well done. Great button activation with a bit of attack groundwork. A T gun now a little bit stranded down the bottom. He's bringing a couple of troops to bolster his position. Still could get overrun. Looks like Jib is just happy to camp the cut off though. To get the neutralize off up here, but no real resources. Is this out now from Angry Dutchman? And there is a Zis. Did have the option of going for an M42. So it does mean he's side tipped to tier 2. Oh! Oh man, I thought that was. I saw that destroyed. I thought that was the flat going down, but that's out the back. Decent bit of Zis barrage action. Gets everything low, T series should be able to clear them off. Coming down to assist here, gets pinned though by the machine gun. T2 a little bit low, maybe he could bring the Zis in to. Okay, he doesn't even need to. Is it retreating? To the grenade. Black base up, covering this cutoff now. Depends on authorization. In progress. Okay, there's this barrage now from the Angry Dutchman going after the Raketan. Very fast reaction times from Inca though. Oh, grenade! No dodge. Oh, it's gonna survive though. Very, very close. He's keeping the... Uh, M3A1 alive here. It's very good for vision. The Dutchman, you can see, provides very, very long range vision with its veterancy. So, helpful tool. That is trouble. AT gun under pressure. Mine going off there. T gun very low, flares up as well. You can see all the Soviet positions. Allies have done a good job though, slowing down the victory point drain. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Oh wow, Jibber going straight heavy panzer corps. Also pulling out a command tank. 
okay timing for the command tank. Sometimes it can arrive about a minute and a half earlier than this, but you've got double two two twos from me, but slows him down by about a minute. Be heavy mod out for the angry Dutchman. T34 already for Alpen. So pretty much matching the command tank timing, which is actually uh, pretty good. Comes. No tick up yet from the angry Dutchman though. I'm sure he would like it, you know, reduce the reinforced costs on the penals. They also benefit from tier 4 without even having to go for any upgrades. Conscripts. Reduce the manpower bleed a little bit. Mine coming up now, not a bad idea. Looks like a bit of a double team move coming in on the north. Alpine's kind of conceding his side. Coming across. Maybe looking for the flat half track kill here. Quick reactions with the smoke. But there we go, gets it with the guards even. T34 rolls on through. But uh, that might not have been ideal. T34's in a bit of trouble. Panzer IV's rolling in. Opportunities go down though, I think that was a bit of heavy mortar action. T70 pressuring the raket and that's forced away. The T gun gonna line up on the command tank here. Oh, the T grenade's a little bit early though. No engine crit. Attack rounds no good from Alpern. TRS on the ground back there. Oh, he's. Oh, he's going to survive. Unbelievable. Or maybe not. Oh! <laughs> nice chase down attempt from Jibba. Doesn't work, though. A lot of repairs required from the Soviets. I mean, that was, that was a win, right? Didn't they wipe two? Suffer no losses in return. Got to be happy with that. Uh, still struggling a little bit on the victory points. They did have to concede the middle again. And we've got the uh, pack there as well. So you can't get too aggressive. Second uh, AT gun from Alpern. So I think he's going to try stall up to the ISU from here. Second is this coming in from the Angry Dutchman as well. They're looking to answer the Axis mediums with the double AT guns. I wonder if the Angry Dutchman... Oh, he still hasn't got his tier 4 tech up, actually. Hmm. I was going to say, I wonder if he's going straight for, like, a Katusha here, even. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. That's Commander Artillery drop down. Pushes back the AT gun. We're kitten connecting for some damage. Just getting a couple shots on bounce that one though. Mine tanks up here providing some uh, damage reduction to this infantry. Tried to go for a Zis barrage but he finds himself in some trouble. The TCM's back there but he's going to get decreed. There's a little bit of a road through this area. Command, oh, second AT gun's back there. Command tank dives in. Smoke to cover. They're going to go for the steel on the Zis. Attack rounds missing. Trying to prevent the steel, but the combat engineers go down. T70 doing some good work. They're chasing now. Alpine's coming across to assist. AT gun decrewed, but uh oh. Was that their own mine backfiring on them there? That is very unfortunate. Looks like it's going to survive. Anti-tank overwatch dropped down by the angry Dutchman. Just to make sure he holds on to this AT gun. It was a little bit desperate, but it worked out okay for the allies in the end. That 
that can happen. You know, they are very reliant on the double AT guns at the moment, the allies, so they're a little bit slower to be able to rotate to assist their teammates if they're getting two on one like that. Another T-34 from Alpin, though. He's not going for the ISU store. Maybe feel like they're a little bit too far behind, might lose the game in the process, so maybe another T-34. Looks like maybe the Angry Dutchman's trying to stall up for his tech now. But while this is going on, allies falling further behind on the victory points. T-70 recon. Checking the area. Jibber's got the Panther coming out shortly, so it's going to make life very difficult for the T-34s of Alpern. Anker's not content. He's going to try and go for the third VP. Alpern making a push, though, behind the smoke. Just to retreat from that rifle nade. A little bit isolated, double packs from Jibber coming down. T-34 wrapping round the M3A1 goes down. That's unfortunate. That's a very good vision tool. Lost. The Panther has arrived from the fatherland. He gets out here before the packs rotate. Bit of damage, rear armor showing from the P4. That was a mistake. It's three hits out for it, repairs for a long time. And the pings just charge in, force back the Rakitans. Really good for the Angry Dutchman in the north. Might even be able to steal away that uh, fuel point there. Oh boy, Alpine's making some moves here, but there's the Panther. drive around these AT guns is bring in another one where is his double this though T-34 trying to escape he brings in the strafe to try and pressure the AT guns but this is a disastrous move for Alpern both T-34s go down the this get here but it's way too late maybe you left them on uh, camouflage mode and they're a bit slow moving in really bad what a good timing for the Panther to arrive. Might as well goes for something there. Okay, PTRS is... Maybe just pick this one up. Oh, gets out of there though with the speed of the road. The fighting has lowered the enemy down to 200 points. Of course, healthy again. Up to Vet 2 on that now. The good news, I suppose, for Alpern is that the Panther can't apply that much anti infantry pressure. So, with his double AT guns, he should be alright. Late retreat from the angry Dutchman though, he loses a penal there. Oh, hits the mine. Doubles this right here. But the arcs are slightly off for the Angry Dutchman. This AT gun not able to fire. It was just tilted slightly off. That would be a dead P4 for sure. Got one shot on there. There's one hit. But I don't think they're going to be able to kill it. Unfortunate. The AT gun arc was just slightly off axis. It's coming in with the T-34. They're more towards the middle. They're coming across now to defend, and so is the command tank. So they're all ready for a rotation. Looks like Angry Dutchman's not going to go diving in. They put up a flare as well to see what's going on. Don't the kitten's going to take advantage of that. But the T-70 sees them coming. There's this barrage action down here. 
Fresh squad of guards from Alpern. Uh oh. Ooh. Command tank's making a move? No. Oh boy, hits one of uh, the mines. They've been good from Angry Dutchman up here in the north. There's a bit of elevation there, makes attack rounds quite bad through this area. And it is going to be a Katusha now from the Angry Dutchman. One T-34 into Katusha. They do need it, you know, they're up against double AT guns from both of the Axis players. Pretty close to another anti-tank overwatch for the Angry Dutchman. Maybe they can use that one offensively as well. survive. Wow. Maxim from Alpen. Big G43 blob running down. Let's call on the conscripts. Looks like the allies are losing their grip on the map a little bit. No fuel at all, which is bad if Alpen's trying to go for that ISU store. Shirt. Decently targeted, but very quick reactions from the Axis. Only one kill there. What a very low health squad's getting away. Out, covering the middle. The allies want to push in there again. He's making some moves down the bottom, but he's suffering a lot of bleed in the process. Merging into the guards, keeping them healthy. All around the side. It looks like Jibber trying to attack round to clear off the trees, which is interesting. Doesn't have the DPs on these guards yet, so they're not very good in the anti infantry getting slaughtered by the best of green deers. Just to retreat in the end, pushing back onto the cutoff. Doubles us way out the back here. So far, there's this positioning not working out for Alpen. Not often they've been in the right place at the right time. Oh, here we go. Big push coming in from Inca. Go Diska here, though. Should be able to shut this down. You need a cover as well. Yeah, very fast. Has to get out of there. Working out very well for the Angry Dutchman. If they're trying to make some moves, the doubles this do force it away. But they need the fuel at the moment, the Allies. Really, really starved of the fuel. The combat is near for the Angry Dutchman. Looks like the final tech truck coming in for Inca, so maybe thinking the King Tiger. Does have the option of going for the Command Tiger. He's looking for the king, and of course, you know, can use that with the Panzer Commander. Very, very strong. Three kills now. Could choose your action. It was okay. Not game winning, though. Got some mines coming down, but the sweeper's right around the corner. They're detected as soon as they're planted. <laughs> Green is just chopping through these guards without the merge. Not lasting long. <laughs> he comes out the corner to sweep them immediately. 
Oh, this could be a squad white coming in here in trouble. And goes down. Comes into a tech round away the mines as well. And doesn't work out for Elpin. Had them making a move here. Going after the T70. The AT gun's under pressure. Got some flares up as well for Inca. To see exactly what's happening. Damage on the command tank, but the Ura anti tank grenade is not fast enough getting across there. And Inca's gonna come in for the double team. The AT gun's a little bit exposed, they push right the way forwards here. Needs a rotation from the Angry Dutchman to save the day. Here they come in for the two on one on Alpern. Oh, but the anti-tank overwatch is down. Stopping Inca's tank pressure at least. Doubles is trying to escape now. T-34 is coming across. G-43, so they're very good at the run and gun. Good at chasing these AT guns down. But they're not going to chase. The uh, Katusha comes in and that's caused Inca to just turn back. Tank Overwatch still going. A couple shells going after the 222. But again, another anti tank Overwatch have to use that defensively. Didn't really do too much. A lot of grenades exchanged. Seems like the guards coming off worse for wear, and the body blocks are punishing. Oh, the Vet 3 guards go down. Oh no, the other guard's going to go down as well. Really bad for Alpern. WT guns do have a path back to base though. Oh. Oh, nothing to chase that down. Can you see me back at base? Waiting repairs. 20 points left for the allies, but they're capping up here. Force hidden up there though. T34 ready for combat. Here is the T34. No dodge, but the disket does survive. Hangs on by a thread. Smoke into cap. Only one PTRS on that penal. Does give it access to the sticky satchel though. Soviet artillery is reloaded and awaiting a target. Stop that. Helping very close, but really needs that fuel. Twenty more to go, but it's just trickling in at the moment. Not working out there for the Angry Dutchman. He's got another anti-tank overwatch ready to go, though. Oh, there we go. Nice volley on the command tank, but Jib is quick on the reactions. He's got the smoke as well. He's Look how much manpower he's got. But I guess he's happy with his composition. Can't quite squeeze in a worker when everything's reinforced. That's probably what they'd be looking for next to the Axis, but there's quite a room in the army. Hey, that's a good Katusha. Because running through it, it could have been so much more devastating. Did a lot of health damage, but barely any kills. Oh, but here we go. P4 goes down. They're going hunting for the T-34 kill. T-70 comes into block the path, the panther misses the kill shot and smokes to safety okay, something goes right finally for the allies 84 points, they're under the triple cap, t is coming in I shoot two fuel Points. She 
Take a little shot there from the Panther. Going back in as well. Incendiary grenade on the Dishka. Really good coverage on the incendiary. He sits in there to win the fight. Trying to get that cap going. They neutralize it. 60 points left for the Allies. The ISU's on the field now for Alpern. Here it comes. Field. Double T guns are a little bit far away. Bring some back across now. Gotta make sure that ice use stays alive. 45 points. This is coming to jam the cap. Good smoke usage though. Nullifies the raquettes for a little bit longer, but that's just too much firepower through the middle. Good shots in there. Oh, Kachusha finally gets a kill. Panzerfuse lays out the back. Really good. Oh, Barrage. Punch out the Rakitin as well. They could kill off that Rakitin. That will be really good. Look at that. The attack round from the Angry Dutchman gets another kill. Oh, boy. Pimos come in for the cap. Huge plays there. Finally, the Kajusha comes good. They've been pretty well targeted the whole time, but the scatter finally goes right for the Angry Dutchman. The results in three wipes. Didn't kill off the uh, Rakitin, though. Thought the Penals might have shot the PTRS. I think one PTRS would have done the trick. So Inca's able to recover that. Big losses for Inca now, down to just 54 population. He doesn't have a huge manpower reserve like Jibba does. in but the Zis is back there and uh, Alpine's going to go for a third Zis to guard the ISU. Now has it got that anti-tank overwatch locked and loaded. Angry Dutchman you know one more unit and he's pop capped himself. Command tank smoke out. T-34's got a good little angle here. Sparage in. You hit him to the middle. Oh, that's delayed fuse action. Tech Brown's not working out too well there for Alpin. So many units in the middle now. Allies are back on the drain. Good Kachusha, though, on the packs. A little bit low. Dude's just from Alpine creeping in there. Misses a shot though. It's just forced off. The dish is going to go into cap. 39 points. Fucking Stuka now from Inca. Had enough of this anti tank gun action from the Allies. Finally getting some rocket artillery to counter it. Just couldn't quite fit in the population caps before. See Jibba just doesn't quite have enough. But maybe he could, you know, just pull the trigger on something like a mortar. Instead. Just throw away a green, yep. Not vehicle on the command tank. So far, the ISU's done very little. Largely missed its shots. T 34 is going to support that now for Alpin. Which I think uh, makes sense. It's got three AT guns and another mine going off for Angry Dutchman. But Angry Dutchman on the line is really good in the north.
31 points. Makes us still 420 remaining. Okay, four kills. Could have done a lot more to the combat engineers. They got off incredibly lightly there. Oh, pack right here with a target weak point, perhaps. Oh, he's going down fast. Okay, combat engineers go down for the angry Dutchman. Bit of Katusha action on the Rakitans out the back. Only able to get them neutralized, though. So no points are going to be lost. The wipe here. Oh, but takes some big damage. Panther's moving in. The T gun's still back there though. Just gonna get some more damage in. away with the panther. Ready to execute. Yes, Not the best angle for the T-34 to be sitting at there. The enemy is encroaching on our now facing the right direction again. to get close enough for the incendiary grenade but that's a big hit from the ISU prevents the decap tech rounds out the back there try and catch the raketon allies have stabilized though they've got the larger armies right now 31 points though doesn't take much to lose these got the anti-tank overwatch ready to go though one thing we haven't seen much of so far are the planes from Jibber. I don't think we've seen basically any plane utilization. Don't know where his munitions have really been going. Maybe the mines. He's got a mid a Ford mid bugger out the back there. Oh, in fact that's double upgraded, it's command and meds. It's a really good outpost for Jibber. Does have a muni cache out the back there as well. Two of them, in fact. Well, three of them, in fact. Okay. It's a huge amount of munitions for the Axis. Strafe coming in from Alpern. Okay, walking Stuka again. Eight kills now. All those penals. Lots of smoke. He can spam this out since Inca doesn't have a huge amount to spend his munitions on either. Ooh, a little bit sloppy from Alpert. Loses a squad in the middle. Pushed him too far there. Command tanks getting some monster hits all of a sudden. It's up to 37 kills, by the way. Somehow isn't bet 3, by the way, with 37 kills. Incredible. Clear off the bunker. Help him looking to get another victory point under their belt. The enemy is taking our territory. Nice use coming down to the bottom.
ISU getting a bit low. Jiva's got the planes coming in. They don't have anti-air, the Allies. A lot of tanks in the uh, area, though. And Jiva's Panthers in some major trouble. Oh, but it bounces a couple shots. T-34 now very low as well. But we've got the anti-tank Overwatch down also. So Inca's Panther decides to pull back. Maxim does go down and these AT guns left a little bit too long here for Alpen. The double T-34 is rolling in for the Angry Dutchman trying to protect the situation but take some anti-tank passes. He gets a wipe on one of the Grandiers however. Uh oh and saying oh watch he came back in with the Panther. Greedy stuff there from Inca. Tried to go for the kill on the T-34, but it cost him his Panther. T-34 comes in for the crush. That's all right. T-2-2, is that finally going to go down? No, he gets out of there. Fausts. No. T-34 dancing away. The plane's timing out. So does the anti-tank overwatch. Works out really well for the Allies again. Look at this population difference after that fight. And about 30 uh, leaves. Really good. It was daring stuff as well, you know. It's always scary to drive into these too close air support, but everything from the Allies surviving, they took a lot of damage, but did not go down. And now they're going to try to set up the triple cap. Jibba does have a huge bank. He's deciding to go for another Panther rather than trying to go for rocket artillery. Looks like they really want to mass up the Panthers and go for the ice you kill. I don't know if the medic's standing there. Another T-34 from Albert. Go and bring him up to his pop cap. He won't be able to reinforce stuff after this. Killing off the immunity caches as well. Well, that's a cheeky shot from the command tank. 43 kills now. Still not vet 3, by the way. I wonder if it's got the same vet requirements as a regular Panzer 4. Damage on the command tank T-34 rolling through the middle. Smoke out though, causing trouble. Huge anti-tank gun damage on the Allied tanks. Here comes the walking Stuka as well. It's a pretty good one. One AT gun decrewed. Chusha for the angry Dutchman is ready to go. down here. Here comes the Katusha. Just out the back onto the team weapons. Pretty bad Katusha though. I think Inca retreating, maybe expecting it to be on as Rakitans, but it wasn't. They kind of retreat through it, almost went down. So we've just got the double panther move coming in now though. And they're going. They're going and going. Quite a few AT guns here. He's got some T-34s, but he doesn't go for any rams. And tank Overwatch dropped in by the Angry Dutchman, but they are hard committing. They really want to kill this ISU, but the Panthers are bouncing a couple shots. Oh, this is no good. Gets the kill in the end. Panthers trying to extract themselves. One T-34 down over here as well. They're still alive right now, but two T-34s from the Angry Dutchman are coming down. This rear armor exposed. Blitzing in, gonna go for another T-34 kill. They get it. It's Panther trying to escape. Oh, not gonna happen. Behind this, the Zisk goes down. I think I saw a few Slayer maybe dead as well.
was painful, but they killed the ICU. Alpern is nowhere close being able to bring in another one. So maybe that's okay. Jibber, of course, did have a huge bank, but now that's kind of been smashed. Okay, no, actually forget that because he's got two Panthers queued up. That's where all his resources are hiding. That's a pretty good smoke. The command tank is now vulnerable. They pack back here. Oh, is it the end of the Fusilier? Got the Rakitin trying to get the kill. No. Crazy stuff. Oh, knocks out the Rakitin. T-34 diving in. The command tank's still very low, this pack. Angling up now. Oh, what was that? Was that an attack round or something? What was that from... Jibber, 222 goes down. T-34 now backing through the pack's arc though. So it does go down. But that's gonna be another pack dead. We have lost a pack Looks like they're gonna kill that off. Killed off the Rakitin. What a turnaround. <laughs> Still 250 odd points for the Axis though, they've got time to rebuild. But now they're behind. The Angry Dutchman has a lot of resources in the bank as well, so he can push right the way up to 100 here. He's got T-34 in progress. Imagine Alpine's going to start the stall back up to the ICU, so he's probably not going to be building anything for a while. We'll give the Axis some time under a bit less pressure. Decent idea trying to come up here to relieve the triple cap pressure, but it doesn't quite work out. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. MG squad awaiting orders. Where's that one? Stuka, here it comes. Doubles this back here. Gotta be the target. Get on the dodge. Cruise one there. Immediately recruit though. 50 kills, and he's finally vet 3 on the command tank. Gonna be a boom bear next from Jebba. That's interesting. I, I feel like maybe uh, the Werfer was the way to go. It's a lot of allied team weapons. And I feel like the boom bear, you know, it's, it's obviously very, very strong, but if you're getting slammed by triples this. How much time are you actually going to be able to do damage with it? And once that ISU starts hitting the field, it feels like it's probably going to bully it back as well. I'm not sure if that's the right call. Texas have already drained out a lot of points considering they were up. It was like 31 to like 460 or something. It's turned around very quickly after that. Flares up, trying to go for the cap, but two machine guns covering this angle. Those combat engines do go down. We're bouncing a lot of shots. Double AT guns a little bit crowded here. The command tank's getting some nasty hits. Really good rate of fire on that. The Panthers are coming in. We're never run away. No snares on these Panthers, so they're just going and going. Doesn't quite have enough of the anti tank overwatch here either. Really troubling signs for the Allies. Panthers are making some moves. One more shot. Oh, and that's good. But behind this, this was a monster Katusha. Three squads get wipes. One of these guys getting an engine crit. Others, this goes down. Deering stuff here. Merging in, keeping that AT gun healthy. And the command tank hero finally goes down. He had a good run. Puts the walking Stuka next. Okay, connection, couple kills, no wipes though. 
So Jibber's going to go for the steal on this Ziss. He's going for a second Brombeer. You don't see a composition like this too often. I don't think he's quite going to have the room. I think it's 16 pop, right? 14, okay. I mean, it's pretty close. Two left for the Axis. Nice, he's on the field now for Alpern, but he doesn't have much to guard us. Could be vulnerable to another Jibber Panther dive. Panthers are still needing repairs though, it won't be for some time yet. Cap here, but the Brumbeer. Has other ideas. She shot the back. Oh boy. Oh, just too much anti tank there. Tries to poke with the T 34, but. Four anti tank units there, and they just knock him out before he can react. Jibber's bringing in the recon plane. By the way, they never got anti-air. It's only the second plane ability in nearly an hour long game though. Jibber has been using a lot of, you know, like command tank smokes and stuff to add up. And trying to go for the cap the axis here, but this is too much firepower with that ISU. Two machine guns covering the middle. I think he's going to try sneak up to the top. Quite a few mines down here for the Angry Dutchman. Doesn't have any sweeper anchor. Okay, here come the Panthers. Oh, they kill off the T-34, but they hit a mine. Drops the Arty on the Zis, needs to dodge, anti tank Overwatch is coming down. Pino's gonna provide vision. T gun gets destroyed. And there goes one Panther. Sticky Satchel on the other. He's right at the edge of the circle though, he should be able to survive. This Panther's coming up here just in case. Case wasn't needed, but oh, maybe is needed now because two T-34s are rolling in from the Angry Dutchman. They're going hunting. Panther spots them. Mark vehicle is active, so they know where this Panther is. They run bad. I think if they pin those initial shots, they would have continued on their path going for the kill. But so it's not worth the risk after that. Fair enough. If it had rotated back there again. But the Axis just can't get a VP. Can't do it. Thirty-five now for the Angry Dutchman. Doesn't quite have the room as pop to get it though. Could get another T-34. That's it. That'll take him up to his pop limit. We're trying to go for the triple cap. There's a bunker coming up from Jibber. Jibber's back up to 100 pop. And that banking he did earlier. Paying off in the late game. Our bunker can now accommodate an MG-42. We're coming in trying to prevent the sandbags. It's two this shots for his trouble though, that is this fit three a monster. Okay, 
Panthers coming up, but there are the mines here from the Angry Dutchman. Oh, he scared him away. Sticky Satchel comes off, though. Zone mine detonating. Nexus, they really want to get this cap going. Okay, that gets extremely low, 234. Oh, the Raketan polishes him off. Huge walking Stuka clears off the Dishka. Combat engineers jamming the cap, Alpen brings in the strafe. Oh, hits one mine. Hits two mines. Panther very, very low. s 5 is up here now. There's one shot, but the other Panther's going in for the kill. The Kachush is a little bit vulnerable back there as well. Sit still for the kill on the Panther. Inka sees the Kachusha. Yes, she already fires one shot, but it's... Oh, look at that. Mops him up, but here comes the Penal with the Sticky Satchel. T-34's back there, gets cleaned up before it can return fire. Two tanks extremely low. Don't have the anti-tank overwatch for this, though. Nothing really that is uh, effective to chase here for the allies. Alpern, though, is going for the uh, victory down here. Doesn't look like it's working for him, though. 31 versus 39. Oh, double AT guns and hop pursuit. Panther surviving for the moment. The lost vision. Wouldn't be a preventing the decap here for a little bit. Looks like there's this. Oh, what an attack round there from Jibber. Wipes the penals. Smoke out. Tech rounds in. Trying to go for the kill, but yeah, as I said, the elevation through this area prevents it, but the ISU comes in from the side. Knocks out the Brumbia. The AT gun has chased this panther to the ends of the map. And he's hiding behind the building. They're dropping the anti-tank overwatch. I think they don't have vision of the panther, though. That's the problem. Oh, there it is. Needs one more shot. There's a bit of speed here, and he's right on the edge. AT gun. Gets the kill. Oh, abandoned? Briefly. Is this a back on the drain? Jibber loses a green here down the bottom. Alpern trying to get the decap here, make these victory points tick that much faster. Hyos go down all the way out the back. Goes to T-34, but ISU coming in for some big hits. Going for the cap, and I think the Allies are going to take this. Just got too much victory point pressure rolling right now. Mine tank brought in by Jibber. He's desperate. He's swooping in on the ISU. There's enough here to defend it. A couple mines down as well. Alpern got the neutralized off. 11 points remaining. Before coming back for the command tank. The enemy has ten points remaining. A squad of infantry wow. killed. They're gonna do it. And they're gonna win. Gotta be one of the craziest comebacks ever. What was that? 31 points to like 460? And they come back, largely on the back of that ISU. That thing is really tough to contend with. I do think it's a little bit weird that Jibber didn't have more munitions for these plane abilities throughout the match. I don't know where he was spending his munitions, but didn't manage to save up for these much. Which, you know, these are very, very helpful when you're going in for those big dives. You can scout out the AT guns, especially the camouflage ones. Get revealed by the recon plane. And just gives you that extra bit of insurance.
Oh, hell of a game though, all round. Really, really strong stuff. Just a masterclass from Jibber in the early game. Just completely shut down Alburn. But yeah, tenacious stuff in the late game. Allies able to come back. Wow, what a game. GG. Game two of this Smoking Aces League series. Switching factions now. Jibber with Brits. Inca with Brits. Both of them going for mobile assault. And uh, opposing them. Double Wehrmacht team. Double Austria team. Uh, Angry Dutchman has spearhead. Elite troops storm. Open has spearhead. Blitzkrieg Jaeger infantry. Definitely, you know, me as a... As a Brit player, I'm going to be rooting for the double Brits. Angry Dutchman going for a sniper straight away. Very powerful tool against the British forces. We have a fresh grenadier squad. So both the Axis going for the same move. I mean, are both the Allies going for the same move here. Universal Carrier with the squad inside. Boys. Someone's shooting us! We're not firing there for some reason. Deploys. Big damage. Jumps back in. Use the side, remember, can't fire. Go for the cutoff here. We're looking to shut down the axis. Right away at the start of the game. Really limiting their control while they cap up behind this. Remember these uh, engineers, they've got a capture rate bonus. It's 20 or 25%. One of the few units in Co 2 that have a capture rate bonus. So they're very good at capping territory. You have to stay out of fausting range and. Both of the Axis do have the Faust range bullets in, so it's quite tough to do against the Grenadiers. He's going to come in, drive past the machine gun, do a drop off. Could cost him his Universal Carrier though. Yep, Faust is going to come in here. And Jibba loses his UC, does force away the machine gun though. I think his UC coming in now as well. He does a drop off. I think he might be able to win this as well. Cut off play though from Alpoon. Sniper trying to get around the corner. Oh, here comes a Faust. He doesn't see it coming. He's behind the tree line. Backs away quickly, but the second Faust potentially coming in. He tries to stay on the road for maximum speed. There's some squads coming to defend. I think this would be too painful for Alpin to try and go for, and he's on the road himself, takes big damage. Sections look like they're going to win against the Pyos here. Big old section blob for Inca. Nearly get the squad wipe there as well. Jibber camped out on a cutoff. He's getting sniped though, he's not going to last long there. Could throw out a smoke grenade on the recovery sappers here. There he goes, no, cancelled it. Six is coming in from the side. Sniper not retreating though. Just backpedaling, looking for more opportunities. Destroy cover actually clearing off that so they can't use that against the allies anymore. Okay, AC tech coming through. Looks like Inca's not going for AC though. Just one of the two players. Run to the machine gun sniper combo. Have to back out of there. Strong start. Oops. So far from the allies though. Tier 2 coming in now for Alpin. Doesn't quite get a second sniping. Oh no, there he goes. I'm going to get out of uh, vision range there. 
UC did get upgraded with the Vickers. Allies right now with no fuel control. T-gun coming out from Inca. Jumping in and out of the building there. Cheeky stuff from Jibba. Sniper coming down though. It's a bit dangerous. Sniper's not V1, otherwise it could be squad wipe there. Conservative stuff here. From the angry Dutchman with the sniper. Maybe, you know, if he stayed in an angle where he could line up a, a shot. Could have gone in for a kill shot potentially, but played it safe with the sniper. 222 in the build now for Alpin. Maybe a little bit late. He's struggling a little bit for manpower. Tier 2. Nearly done now for the angry Dutchman. He's got a mid bunker up as well. So not particularly fast 2 2 twos this game. A quick look at the KD here. Alright. Angry Dutchman doing well. Alpin struggling. Maybe one model a little bit out of cover there gets suppressed. Not ideal for Jiva. Enemy threatening a capture point. Good news. The ability is ready for use. Here comes the AEC for Jibber. Carrier ready to move off. Cheeky tell. Oh no, I thought there was a teller, but no, it's one of Jibber's mines. Damage there on the AEC. So a bunch of treats up and can't really contest until he's got the pack. Army commander is ready to go. Sniper hasn't been doing too many kills lately. Maybe he doesn't feel too secure with his position. He's backed up by the 222 now though. Some infiltration commandos deployed from Jibba. Definitely some, you know, differences, even though they're going for the same commander. Switching up the build orders a bit. Get another layer of sandbags back there. Universal carrier. Switching sides. Double 2 2 is just waiting out the back. Axe is very passive, waiting for those packs to arrive. Meanwhile, Jibber's clearing off all the cover. Like, you know, section's good in cover, of course, but then it also denies cover to the sniper, so... Might be alright. AC's making some plays here. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Very low there. Close call for Jibber. 222s were feeling a little bit more bold with the arrival of that AT gun. Maybe could have gone for the kill. Would have been risky though. It's required a 222 to pin, but it's, you know, it's okay against the AC. A couple of tech grounds there coming in. Fortress Commandos now from Inca. A lot of 222 fire. AT guns pushed up. Is this the end? No, he's repeated up enough. Even if that had landed, it wouldn't have died. A lot of LMGs now on the Grandiers. Even inside the building has to get out of there. A capture point is being overrun. Okay, ticking up now on Inca. No sweeper. Oof. Got off reasonably lightly for that S mine patch, only two models down to it, could have been worse. 2 to 2 waiting for repairs as well, so he's not going to send it up there. Oh, Bren Mando's immediately from Jibber, interesting. Did go for bolster as well. 
You know me, I'm generally more of a fan of going for Brens on the sections first and then Brens on the commandos last, if, you, if you're playing like this. It's just a small detail, doesn't matter too much. Forcing the retreat. See, T gun setting up. It's one shot in. 222 took a hit there though as well. Does chase away the commandos. Trying to go for the cap. Allies riding high though. Strong start for them. Allowing the pirates to cap here though, not ideal for Inca. You see he's coming back though to assist. out now from the angry dutchman we went for stormtroopers as well oh boy forgot to take them off whole fire do not like stormtroopers in the commando matchup i think it's a very bad matchup for stormtroopers not a good plan Ooh. that was a close one it's time to get some more brings going on the sections now as well as jibber Stormtroopers are pretty good against, uh, you know, infantry sections though, so it's not all bad news. Cromwell gun tank, ready for action. I know, sneaking in here. Nice. Pretty spread out on the AT gun though, so it didn't actually do that much damage that grenade. Unfortunate for Inca. See for having to pull back. He's got an AT gun coming in now to assist. Machine gun out the back, laying down some suppression. Crawl out of harm's way. Stay in the fight. We're chased down from the Cromwell, nearly knocks out a green here. Sitting up to the north here. All infantry squads can have an additional infantry. Ooh, Alpen trying to put a telemine down here. I don't know, maybe forgot. Loses his squad. Ouch. Rebuilds them immediately. Bad timing as well. He's got his tick. Well, he should have his tick starting up. Might be wanting to put down battle phase. I mean, is a tier 3 or tier 4 after completing battle phase. Both the axes are not ticking up yet. Open did lock into Blitzkrieg as well. Our opponents are seizing a sector. We've learned something useful today. Oh, just enough damage to kill the 222 there. Did the AC go down as well? Oh, the wreck. Saving the day. Tech rounds don't work. Just, yeah, that little bit of extra small arms damage resulting in the kill on the 222 there. Usually it's not quite enough since AC doesn't do full 160 per shot, but is enough with that small arms. Commander's off to a great start. Out facing the green ears, it's the dream scenario for them. 
Starting the 222 to chase them away now. They are having a great time. The G43s on all the Grenadiers from Angry Dutchman. Getting forced away by the Commandos. Good hit from the Cromwell. Couple shots from the sniper though. That's up to 22 kills. It's been doing well for the Angry Dutchman. The Nexus are doing okay at stopping a lot of the VP bleed. Even though they've been quite far behind to this point. Middle phase on both of them. Coming up now. Late into the mediums, so they've both gone double AT guns. But here could come the land mattresses from the Allies. Manufacturing capability has been increased. And that, uh, gonna put some pressure on the AT guns. Loaded and ready. Cromwell as well from Jibber. Maybe Inca's gonna go for a... No, Inca's reinforcing. A capture point is being overrun. Pressure on the AT gun gets quite low. It's a big LNG green blob in the middle from Alpine. They are short work of anything that comes in there. Looks like Ink is putting down a mortar pit in the center. Very good spot for it, of course. Oh, and there goes the UC. He had a good run with it. Finally goes down. Can't escape the double packs the whole game. I'm a little bit surprised not to see a land mattress though. Maybe Jibber go for the mortar pit, Inca goes for the land mattress. With how their fuels are working out. Mortar pit obviously extremely good for contesting the victory points. Can't often get the wipe on machine guns, I mean, and, and anti-tank guns out the back though. Just have ticked under 250. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Got some appears in. Oh, this Cromwell's been getting some big hits, better than usual. T gun left here. Not doing much because of that smoke. We're ready for all that was his own uh, stormtrooper's smoke as well. This AT gun in a compromised position now. Because making a play. AC's up here as well. I look for the green wipe also. Ouch. Not good for the angry Dutchman. 222 comes in, sprinkling in a bit of damage. The packs there connects on this. Gets it low. Double packs from Alpen coming in. But the commandos up here, they somehow avoid this telemine. I think that's where the Angry Dutchman was trying to lead them. Okay, knocks out the AEC with that. Telemine does get the job done. Tries to steal this with commandos. Expensive stuff, but the 222 and a G43 Green Deer coming in, trying to prevent the steal. G43's in smoke though. Oh no, he's a little bit slow chasing out of the smoke. Now he's taking a lot of damage. He's not going to be able to stop it. Pack decrewed, recruit again. Now the Angry Dutchman's second pack's in trouble, but Alpine's up here to save the day. Really painful stuff there for the Axis, though. Angry Dutchman just overstaying his welcome with the pack. Caught them in a bad position. Brumbeer from Alpine. Still up for grabs there for the Angry Dutchman. Double packs from Alpen pushing all the way in here as well. Looks like Inca did go for Bolster. The five man sections himself. Ready to One kill so far from the mortar pit. Good building position there. 
this is helping off. And Bumbia is coming out. Looks like Jibba went for the land mattress. He's picked up some Piets as well, a little bit of extra anti tank. The enemy are at 200 points. Three kills from the sniper. The enemy is taking our territory. Into the north. From the mortar pit. Yeah. We're losing a capture point. Retreats from the Brombeer hasn't done too much damage. He retreats, minimizing it. A lot of respect from Inca. Jibber didn't. Re okay, well, Night no, Jibber's coming in now as well. He's got his AT gun reasonably close. Definitely don't want to be shooting Piets at the Brombeer in the head to head, though. Suffer a lot of bleed doing that. The mattress spraying out the back, getting a couple okay hits as well. Only one kill though. And 34 left for the Axis. Gotta be feeling the pressure big time here. Some tech ground action coming in. Ooh. Oh, just got pumped on the boom bear. Cromwell speeding in. Oh, bounces. No snaring units nearby, though. Speeds right through. He's continuing after the boom bear. Bounces again, though, and here comes the ace from the angry Dutchman. Gets the boom bear in the end. Costs him the Cromwell. It's probably an okay trade. Coming out from Inca next. Oh, they decrewed Alpine's AT gun down here as well. Command tank from Alpine. Mm. There's a comet tank ready to go. Interesting choice. Trench, grenades onto the far side. Up and dodges it. That's the right, right thing to do, though. They're sticking around with their camo. Oh, gets the wipe anyway. Tiger is missing his shots. Smoke out covering the middle. He's doing some attack ground action. Coming in from the side, gets a rear armor hit. Clock is uh, slowly ticking away. 75 left for the Axis. T-Guns lining up. Shooting 
Docker stops still though. Max is doing a good job stalling things out at the moment. See, they're about 30 population behind total though, the Axis. Stay out of Piat range there, doing alright as well. Pyos go down though to the attack ground wars. Camo smoke attack rounds all throughout the middle. Man mattress again out the back, going after the mortar, I think. Pretty complain up from Alpern. Oh boy, where's that sniper going? Not really getting too much done there. Two kills, a lot of health damage. Nearly did one after two barrages, but barely any kills to speak of. Trading a few shots here. Backed up by the double AT guns, but the Tiger's armor holds strong. Good uh, mortars behind this. AT guns now in some trouble, actually. One of them goes down. One of our anti tank guns is gone. This comet is getting really lucky. Gets target weak pointed, though. Pack rolling down from the Angry Dutchman. At the very least, they're probably going to kill off this pack here. Oh boy, that heavy mortar barrage out the back decrews the Angry Dutchman's mortar. And Inca's going to be able to jump back on this. Really good use of the comet smoke there. Well, well, well. Not looking good for the Axis. Just can't seem to get much going. The Ace is doing okay. Making use of the vehicle crew appears, trying to turbo it back up to healthiness. The Comet is definitely running incredibly hot in terms of bounces. It's bounced so many shots. Oh boy. Put the LMG wipe there. Drop the pits as well. I think he's going to pick that up though. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Oh boy, that was kind of friendly fire. Oh no, he popped. Tactical advance. That was a big mistake from the Angry Dutchman. That was a really bad call. Enemy causing trouble. Trying to take one of our points. Tactical advice, tactical movement, can't remember. The enemy only have 50 points left. Which one is called? Didn't quite jam the cap though, Inca. Let's just get a little bit more time to get something going. Oh boy, command tank very low. Oh, that's a good target weak point. We're far out from the Angry Dutchman, does okay. And they knock out the Comet, nicely done there by the Axis. Exactly what they needed. Pies go down though, they try to get some S mines in. Does stop Jibber from going down there though. Gammon Bomb on the Decrude Machine Gun. Destroys that completely. The Ace, now Engine Critters. Still in here though, trying to prevent the pressure. Oh, 
43 kills from the sniper. Oh, and here comes a Cromwell. He's popped the hunt as well. Speeding in. Looking for the kill. Oh! Tried to switch over to the Werfer. Doesn't even need that because uh, the AT guns roll through the middle, get the ace anyway. For a Firefly, but yeah, not really even that necessary. More to put down here from Jibber as well. He cancelled it once, but he built it again. Very good for contesting the victory points. Enemy got one of our squads. Oh, big S mine action there. It's the squad mark. 35 points left. The Axis are going for the middle once more. Do we have a Panther on the field now from Alpern? And the first ready to fire as well. See Angry Dutchman after losing their ace, those way behind on army size. Still got the sniper, got a mortar back here, could retrue as well. And that mattress really did very little this game though. It often does. Field recovery teams are ready for the weapons out the back. Mining up with the mortar pit as well. the machine gun. Comes the worth it back the other way, but they dodge away. Oh, nearly got the commandos though. 28 points left. Axis with no VPs in their control. The machine gun did eventually go down for Alpert to the land mattress, I believe. Sniper just trying to man up and uh, nearly goes down but nearly gets the wipe as well. One tank coming through the middle but there are the double AT guns. And there goes the command tank. And X is with that, going to throw in the towel. So the series ends 1-1. Incredible comeback in that first game. But this game, much more one-sided from start to finish. Kind of domination from the Allies, showing a new way to play Allies and Twos. Double Brits with double mobile assault, double universal carrier shenanigans right off the start. Which seemed to work pretty well. Felt like the Allies were bleeding, I mean the Axis were bleeding a lot. Maybe their 2 2 -2s were a little bit delayed. And uh, yeah, they just maintain that momentum, alternating their builds a little bit here and there to make sure they had all the aspects covered. And it worked out very well for the double ally team. Kind of transitioning into Hammer with all the uh, comets and stuff in the late game. Yeah, GG. Uh, <laughs> look at this, you know? Double Brits. The new secret weapon for twos, maybe? Might be a map specific thing. I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, very well done. 1-1 one, one for the series.